Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sleepless Ninja. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Timemat ROM. What is the difference between a ROM and say their kernel? The, the ROM is a more all-in-one package. It's um, pretty easy to install because all it is is a direct.zip file that you, have, you can install from the Clockwork Mod Recovery. So it's pretty flat, fast and it includes a plethora of additional features that a custom kernel can't because you can it can customize certain user interfaces um, you can you can customize the certain applications and it really gives you a, an overall um, operating systems um, makeover instead of just the, uh, the, 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 the kernel itself um, now it, it depends of course what kind of ROM with what features and um, what actually the time at um, contains is beyond the scope of this guide um, but you can look forward to future videos where I can go into and show you each of the the features that it does present but right now we're just gonna install it so one of the first things I recommend and, and also um, Big Rush Dog and uh, Sonars and all of the team time at is to back up your application data using titanium backup you know this there's a free and a paid app. The free app works just as well. And all you want to do is go to the backup and restore and then backup your apps. Now you could do a batch, which would restore or backup all your apps, or you could just click on them individually. And what this does is um, when you do this, you can do backup, and that's all it is. It will back up your app. So you have all three stars and all fruit in your Angry Birds game. You won't lose that. Um, now there's because what you're going to do in order to install the ROM is is wipe the user data. So this is a way of saving all your application. Okay. Then after that, all you want to do is you want to boot. Uh, well, actually, you need to actually download the time at. I'm going to have a link to the official thread. Um, you just go to the thread. Um, right now it's 1.1. So if it updates. Um, the installation process might be a little different, but I highly doubt it. Um, they, they always make this very simple and easy for everyone. And there's just uh, you know slight hiccups that are people are receiving. Um, I'm going to talk about step by step. So once you download that, you want to pop it in your SD card. Um, I, I just used an external PC and popped it in my SD card reader and then, and then loaded it that way and then put the SD card in my Zoom while it was off. Um, I highly uh, recommend it that way um, because actually I don't even have um, any kernel on here that uses the SD card so definitely check that um, put it on and then pop it in um, the significance of the fact that even though the, my zoom can't read an SD card the clockwork mod recovery it's a special version make sure you have that version um, that is the one that can actually read the SD card and install this custom kernel. And I think that's where custom ROM, I, I think that's where most people get tripped up on. So once the card is installed, you have this booted up, um, you can go to um, start up into recovery mode. I just use this app, um, but I can go into reboot into recovery for that reason. I don't really use any of the other options. I just use it to be a quick way to boot into recovery. I'm sure there's other faster means. It's just what I'm used to. So once we're in recovery, we want to note that we have the special version of the clockwork recovery. You know, a lot there's, you know, you're you, you might see somewhere that that this is not the latest version. I'm going to zoom in. 3.200 Solonars version of the clockwork mod recovery. It's very important that you have this version um, to install the ROM. It's not quintessential but if you're having hiccups this is probably where you're going wrong. Now if you don't have this version I have a first a guide out there that shows you how to install it so definitely take advantage of that um, and it's even a guide for the non for a non-rooted zoom but it works just as well for a, a rooted zoom except you don't have to do the little trick because the stock recovery won't cover over it now all we have to do now is install zip from an SD card um, to install it but 
you want to make sure that you have your current state backed up. So what I recommend is to go to backup and restore and backup. Um, and this is an Android backup and this will back up your entire state. No need for advanced backup. The, this custom kernel does a really good job at backup. So say you have a bunch of music and pictures and everything, it won't back those up. They stay on your device and they won't get wiped. However, it will back up the important stuff and save as much space on your SD card as possible. Um, that's another great feature of this um, customized Clockwork Mod Recovery by the Team Timeout team. So, once you're done backing it up, and really all you have to do is press the power button, it'll back up and only take a couple minutes. Um, what you want to do is then do a factory reset. So, all you have to do is go here, wipe data, factory reset. Okay? This is just to uh, take care of any hiccups that you possibly could come across. Alright, now once that's done, you are now ready to install the theme. So all you have to do is go to install zip from SD card. And we want to choose the zip from the SD card. So, what this does, even though my Zoom does not have the customized kernel to see the SD card, this special version of the clockwork can. And all you have to do is go down to the ROM and press the power button to select it and then say yes we want to install it. And it's really as simple as that. You want to back up your application user data in titanium. You want to restart into recovery. You want to do an Android backup using Clockwork Mod Recovery. You uh, then um, want to wipe all your your user data and then you want to install the zip. And then as long as you're using this special version of the Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're all set. And um, it's, it's pretty easy and if you follow this for all the new releases of the ROM, you really can't go wrong. So, pretty much now that it is installed, um, we can um, enjoy. So let's just uh, restart. Wow, that's pretty sweet. And then, of course, this is the basic setup. Nothing uh, special here. I'll just cut through, set this up, and then go back. All right, so here we go. You can see the noticeable difference right there. The power thing was replaced by that little circle. Um, if we go into the About tablet, you can see that we have the custom kernel and the uh, Android 3.1, so that looks steady. Um, if we look at our applications, you can see um, there's this um, default list that's a little bit different than um, the stock on the Android. A lot of, you know, the very little bloatware that was on the Android has been removed. Um, we also see this quick boot, which um, is uh, really nice because look, you have your reboot, recovery, bootloader, or power off all at the, your fingertips. Awesome. So, you know, big props to uh, Big Dog Rush. Solonars and all the rest of the team time at. This is really a very well welcomed addition to the Zoom. And honestly, in my opinion, I've been playing around with it for a while. is It's it's much polished than the stock Motorola. And with the addition of the SD card working, it's you know, you really can't beat that. It's fantastic. It works in the 3G. It works in the Wi-Fi. I have uh, no complaints right now. 
Um, so definitely check this out, install it, follow these steps. And um, if you get stuck along the way, just let me know. Um, I'll, I'll be sure to try to, to help you out. Also, you know, follow the thread um, along with this if you have any important questions. I know there's a lot of European um, Zoom um, users out there that ask me, you know, these specific questions. And personally, since I don't own one, I can't test it out. So always check those threads as well. I'll try my best to help you. But there's people doing the same thing and having the same issues, and they talk about that on the thread, and they'll be able to help you much more than I will just because they have the device itself and has gone through the problems. As always, thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.